Hi, I'm Jill Clay. I'm the principal of Jackson Elementary, where we serve students pre-K through third grade. I've been here at Jackson Elementary now going on my third year here at this wonderful school in Chapel Hill ISD. And this year we've had the opportunity to change our configuration to serve only pre-K through third grade. Traditionally it had been pre-K through fifth grade students. And while I miss our friends that are older over at KSAM, I, I am really enjoying the opportunity to serve our friends here pre-K through third grade. And we are delving into all kinds of activities with learning. Uh, our robotics club will be hopefully starting up soon. And we also have advanced academics in the process in our library as well. So I'm sure, I'm sure you're going to see wonderful things that are happening here on campus at Jackson Elementary. Well, they're trying to make him feel better, right? There's shakes and he shivers, he coughs and he quivers. And he still feels. Um, I think the reconfiguration has been great for our campus. It has given our students an opportunity to grow and learn more and interact with more kids in their class. And we just love it here at Jackson. <laughs> When school kind of stopped in March, we didn't get to finish all of our goals that we had planned for the rest of the year. So we're picking them up and, and continuing on with them at a younger grade level so that they actually get the foundation of the robotics piece, the robotics club piece, um, meeting with our GT students and giving them enrichment opportunities. And by having um, only five grade levels, we really had the opportunity to have an enrichment period at the end of the day. And so we extended our planning time and conference time with our students being in specials for an hour. And then at the end of the day, there's an enrichment time at the end where our wonderful specials teachers, Ms. Greer, Coach Schneider, Ms. Monk, and even our specials instructional assistants are having the opportunity to work with our kids even more in depth. So that's, that's really important. Uh, and then giving the kids uh, opportunities to work on the robotics and coding piece. And then, you know, being able to carry that over to when they do go to KISSAM, when they get to fourth, fifth, and sixth grade, and taking advantage of those classes in STEAM over at KISSAM. So they'll be prepared now and by giving them the opportunity to delve deeper, they'll have that foundation going into KISSAM and intermediate, so. Repite la palabra, hola. 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 Manos extendidas. Manos extendidas. Sonidos son H O A. La letra son H O L A. La palabra es Hola. No. ¿Cómo se cae? ¿Se caería el agua? No. No se caería así. El agua se cae. ¿Cómo se siente el agua? Suave. Suave. Mojadito. Good job. We have a really great fine arts teacher and if you ever have the opportunity to see a performance by our students with Miss Greer, you are in for a treat because she is one of a kind and she will help kids perform at the highest levels and they enjoy it. And so not only do we have uh, great staff here, um, but we also have great special staff here that encourage our kids to perform in ways that they may not have thought about before. So uh, it's just, Jackson is a very special school. Hi, I'm Emily Greer. I'm the fine arts teacher at Jackson Elementary and I've been here for 12 years and I've loved every minute of it. I think our kids make us who we are. And oh geez, I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> um, I just, Ever since we've gotten here, first of all, Jackson feels like family. Um, it's, it always has been. We look out for each other, we encourage each other, 
but I I feel like our teachers um, fight for our kids and I know that all teachers fight for their kids but it feels like um, we've got a lot of underdogs here um, we've got a lot of kids who have some some really hard circumstances and come in and out and um, and don't have anything and I feel like at Jackson it's our biggest desire our biggest passion to make sure that our kids know that they matter um, they know that they are worth not just something but worth the best and so we push them and we encourage them and we give them what they need and we let them know I let them know that they can do hard things and they are worth the work and they can do amazing things when they try our kids are talented um, they are resilient and we learn from them and I think that's what makes Jackson special that's what makes me come to work here for 12 years um, I just I love the kids I love the people and I love what we do with them um, my biggest problem here is that I just always want more time you know I there's there's too much to do there's too much creativity the kids are too good at it so I want to do all of the music and all of the art and all of the theater all the time and um, and I think that's what makes my job fun and I told somebody once you know if I'm bored it's my own fault because there's always something new to do and something fun to do and I'm always amazed by what the kids are able to do you know I tell them it's like oh this might be too hard and then we do it and they knock it out of the park so it just makes me want to keep trying and finding those things what about the birds how they fly. Okay. I'm Angela Lacey, the counselor at Jackson, and this is my 18th year here. And I grew up right down the street in Jackson Oaks. Uh, when I went to school here, this was a junior high. It was 6th, 7th, and 8th grade. And where the junior high presently is, it was the elementary. So that's just a little history. And it was only one elementary back then, and it went from head start to 5th grade. And uh, here on this campus, like I said, it was the junior high and the cafeteria might be, the cafeteria and the pre-K building I think might be the only two buildings that are still here from when I was in junior high. The rest of the buildings are newer. With the different reconfigurations, uh, our community is still remained pretty tight-knit. A lot of students that are here now, either I know their parents or their parents may have grown up here and I may not know them, but their parents are from here or their grandparents are from here. You know, this is a very tight-knit community and everyone here believes that we are one family. And so there's a lot of interconnectedness even throughout, um, not just the students, but through the staff and then also into the community as well, that you never know who you're gonna meet and when you're gonna meet them again. They, you, can, you can count on anyone to help you here at Jackson, and they are just so proud of the education that's being provided here and then the ways that they can contribute to the school and how it helps their students be better prepared. So we have some very, very good parents and good community members that want to see all of our students succeed here. They're nice and I'll be, I'll be with my friends. Mm, the park. Be with my friends and play. I could be here with my friends and I could learn.